It got underway last weekend, but the official opening ceremony will happen this afternoon. That's right. It was pushed back a day because of the uh, big march for our lives. And thanks to some cold weather, the Blossom Peak has also been pushed back. Uh, it's delayed until next month. WSA 9 Sarah Consmo has more of the flowers than the festival. She's live at the Tidal Basin this morning. Hey, Sarah. Good morning. Yes, you can see the trees beside me, not quite out in bloom, but should be out in bloom in the coming weeks, just in time for the festival, which kicks off with an opening ceremony today. Uh, but lots of events over the next few weeks. 1.5 million people expected to come out. Yes, we um, are so ready for the blossoms to bloom and the warm weather to come. But we are we have a wonderful opening ceremony tonight that is sold out, but you can watch it on Facebook Live at uh, five o'clock. And still lots of things happening today. Yes, so right down here at the Tidal Basin all day is going to be very special. It's Tyco Takeover at the ANA stage at the welcome area from noon to six o'clock. You will see hundreds of Tyco drummers from all over the East Coast and you can participate and watch. Uh, the next couple weeks we have fabulous things coming up. On April 7th is uh, Petalpalooza at the Wharf. And again, next weekend actually, Kite Festival at uh, the Washington Monument grounds and finale weekend parade and Sakar Matsuri Street Festival. It's so many things happening here. And you're an organizer here, you're the president here. What is your favorite event? My favorite is really just, um, you know, it's hard to say one event, but my favorite thing is when everyone is coming down here from all over the country, all over the world to really participate and enjoy the beauty of our city. Perfect. And like she said, the opening ceremony tonight is sold out, but you can watch it through a Facebook Live. Reporting live from the Tidal Basin, Sarah Consmo, WUSA 9. Sarah.